Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover how to use create isometric tile. Up top, we have tile shape. You can use the drop down to select the type of tile you like. There are a couple of options, thick, thin, block and reference. There is also none. When you select them, the top area here uh, changes. For this tutorial, we'll be using reference shape and you can set and clear the reference. What the reference image does is tell the model what shape the tile should be and also some information on uh, shading and stuff like that. And underneath we have the description. This is where you tell the model what the tile should look like. It doesn't need to be a simple description. You can add more detail if you like. And just make sure it's uh, something that you want your tile to look like and get creative. Then we have outline, shading and details. You can select the options you want. Feel free to try them out and figure out which settings works best for your project. Tile size, there is 32 by 32, 16 by 16 and other. So depending on your canvas size, select the one that fits you best. Then we have init image, which helps define shape and appearance. If you have it higher, it will look more like your init image. And if it's lower, uh, it will look less like it and you can play around and see what works best uh, in your case. Just make sure it, it looks uh, more like your end result because that's what it will uh, push the mod model towards. Then in advanced options we have guidance weight which will push the model to make the uh, generated image look more or less like your text description. It also impacts outline shading and details and like how uh, much color there is. And down here we have load previous settings where you can find your previous seeds for uh, old generations. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So let's go ahead and generate our first isometric tile. I'm just gonna put back the default settings and click generate. And here we have it, our first tile. I'm just gonna make some quick fixes to it. And here I'm just reducing the number of colors in the uh, image. Same way as before, I'm just creating a water on top of dirt. Just gonna fix it up a bit. Then we will start creating the map. So when creating a uh, tile map with isometric tiles, you want to stack them together like this. Then you can copy paste to make it faster once you have some uh, tiles already in place. For those of you who are making a video game, this is usually done programmatically. But since this is just a quick tutorial, I'm just doing it by hand instead. And now to make it a bit prettier, let's uh, create some trees and stuff to have in our map. So in this case, I'm using the Pixflux model to generate the tree. But you can also use uh, extend map on the uh, map that you have, like I did in previous tutorials.
If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or join the Discord channel and ask us there. We usually respond within minutes, maybe an hour or so, so it's a lot more efficient than YouTube comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.